Hello everyone, I'm Zhao Chuang. Let me introduce the Nile crocodile. When we mention the crocodile today, we can imagine the cold blood, cruel image, one that often hunts large prey, and even hurts humans sometimes. In the film and TV shows, especially in horror movies, we often see crocodiles attacking people. Generally, this impression of crocodiles is the most typical. These ideas are mainly from the Nile crocodile. The Nile crocodile is the Earth's large and famous group of crocodiles. They live in Africa. In general, when we think about the stout appearance of the crocodile, the image that immediately comes to our mind is the Nile crocodile. The biggest one can grow up to 5-6 meters long, which is huge. When you look at it from the top, look at a Nile crocodile lying on the ground, you will see its body is wide. It weighs a lot. The head is especially heavy. On the head of a Nile crocodile, you can first see that its mouth is wide and heavy. This is different from the other crocodiles, such as the Malayan gorillas in Malaysia or fish-eating crocodiles. Those crocodiles with a slender mouth usually eat fish. Their mouth is long, and they pose little harm to people. The Nile crocodile specializes in preying on large animals. The bite force of its mouth is extremely powerful. Its mouth looks very thick. When its mouth is closed, the teeth are exposed because it has no lips on the mouth. There are many large, scale-like structures covering the face. The reason why we say these are scale-like structures is that they are not real scales. These bumps on the Nile crocodile's face actually formed in the embryonic state. As it grew, the natural cracking randomly generated pattern-like structures. These are not really scales, although they look like scales. So, every Nile crocodile has on its face bumps that vary in range and shape. Also, on these heads, the scale structures have many small holes. These holes are the trigeminal nerve that connects to the skull. So, its firm facial skin can protect itself, and the presence of these trigeminal nerves makes it sensitive, such that it can feel the surrounding environment, especially in the water. Sensing vibrations in the surrounding water is essential. Scientific research shows that it has many little dots on its face. These little dots are the trigeminal nerves. Its sensitivity is like our human fingers. They often use their mouths to touch things, to feel if these are edible, or to sense the texture. And when the Nile crocodile is waiting for the hatchling to break its shell, it can also use its mouth to feel the temperature of the nest or the egg. The crocodile is unlike us humans. Its lower jaw cannot move from side to side or have molars to chew food. When hunting prey, such as the wildebeest, they face targets that are too big to be swallowed with one gulp. They will use a move called the death roll. It is brutal. After biting into a piece of flesh, they spin their body, using the force of rotation to rip the flesh off the prey. This is how they eat. Its teeth are thin and can only pierce, but not tear and rip, unlike a tiger or lion. So it has to use this move to turn the prey into small pieces. The Nile crocodile, unlike many other animals, cannot make a clear sound. It makes a low growl from the throat. In the water, this growl spreads through the body around. It can use the entire body cavity as a resonance chamber to propagate in the water this low frequency sound. The propagation can spread far, such that several kilometers away, other crocodiles in the water will hear it. In addition, it has a stout and long tail. We can see that the tail is flat sideways. This flattened structure allows it to swing left and right. The neural spines at the end of its tail are inclined backward. Therefore, when it wants to make this twist, it must spin somewhat to make a larger turn. The base of its tail is thick, the further down, the thinner. There are very thick muscles at the base of the tail. The muscles give the tail end powerful strength, so its tail acts like a propeller. When it swims in the water, it does not require limbs to move. The tail alone is enough. The Nile crocodile has short, thick but powerful limbs. The young crocodile, 
when its weight is relatively low, can run quickly on land. We used to think that crocodiles are lazy animals, but the truth is different from our impression. Some crocodiles, especially when young, can move fast. Another important feature of crocodiles is that they have many scales on the back. The scales are actually a structure called osteoderms, rows of bones growing out of the skin. These bones, when they are under the skin, especially at the rear, are like tiles, one overlapping the other. When the tail twists, the plates become spread out so they will not interfere with each other. But on the surface of the plate, there is a layer of continuous hard skin, covering the plates underneath. This structure makes the whole back look sturdy. On the surface, it is like a large chunk of protective armor. Still, its body can twist flexibly. Its body is still flexible. The color of its entire skin is between yellow and green. In the wildness of Africa, if a crocodile lies on the ground, strong sunlight shines on it and there are many objects around constantly reflecting light, this environment gives it excellent camouflage. From a distance, it is hard to spot a crocodile lying on the ground. The above is some information about the Nile crocodile.